happy crafters today I'm coming to you with a very quick little process video I am working on a Valentine's card there it is I made that using the smitten collection um, by the reset girl that is the word and phrase sheet a digital sheet a digital collection and I created that little card using Photoshop so I manipulated the images, arranged them the way I wanted them, I printed it out, and then I went ahead and found the background paper that match. And um, th my idea here was to create a card to give uh, to a friend. And I loved it because not only did I have the digital kit, but I also had the um, actual kit, some parts of the kit. And I will show those to you here in a little bit. This is also kind of a little unboxing video. I have already started using the kit because I just couldn't wait. And I kept thinking, well, what can I make that's a little bit different, that can kind of give you an idea that we don't only have to use some of these items for your planners or your scrapbooking pages, your journals, we can even go further than that and create cards. And that's why I decided to make this little project. So after I printed that little sheet there, you can print so many, you know, as many as you want. And, and you know, maybe your children can give those out to some of their friends at school. And I'm going to start showing you some of the things that I got on the actual physical kit. This is, that is the Happy Place Challenge. It has all the um, prompts for this month's challenge. That is the Whimsy Arrow and Banner Sheet. That is the Designer Sheet. And as you can see that I've already used some of those little hearts and I'll show you here in a minute where I've already used those numbers. And then this is part of the Crafty Girl Kit and there's some more stickers missing because I've already added those to my planner and that's what I'm going to show you here in a minute there's a little sheet there with phrases lots and lots of numbers so I'm happy that my and here it is I'm going to bring it out right now my planner is undated so these little numbers just come in so handy because they make my planner just a little nicer <laughs> and so I'm going to show you there there's all the little numbers those little cute little circles and I use some stamping there and you can see there's a little honey there and you'll see that she's missing also from the kit because she's already in there that was my overview of the entire month and now this is the weekly spreads and look at all those honeys there so I'm kind of showing you pretty much everything from January there are those honeys right there part of the kit also included the loving honey bundle I think I'm saying that right and there they are it is such a beautiful collection they come with some black and whites but that one there I colored it I was just testing it out and see if I can use some of my markers and it does work so that's another amazing thing that we can just color their dresses according to whatever we're working on those are like little stamps. They look like little stamps, but they have honeys on. And look, at there's another sheet, and there's the one that's missing because I've already used her. <laughs> and then those are part also of the digital kits. I've, I am just enjoying that collection because I can just have my printing company print those out. My printer doesn't do justice to the beautiful colors of the kits. So um, I have those sent out and print them uh, with this company that I use. It's a local company here. And so there is the rest of the kit. And those are mainly for planners. Um, they work well. Those are um, habit trackers. And also it came with that sheet of beautiful circles there. And now I'm gonna just kinda go over everything and see what else I'm going to use to decorate the card. Oh, it also came with these three little um, small journaling cards. And you know what? They will fit in my planner because I do have these little pocket pages. And those um, two by two little journal cards will work perfect. So then I decide to look at, well, what else can I add to the card? 
just to add a little few more embellishments and it becomes what I call a hybrid um, project because part of it is digital but then I'm actually using real stickers and real embellishments to add the final little details so like I said guys this was just a quick little video little tutorial just so that you can give you an idea that you know you can do other things with the digital products that the Reset Girl is offering on her print and snip shop. I will add links to everything that you've seen here. And you can see me struggle figuring out. I know I want a little arrow going from the love to you. <laughs> and at, at the end I do end up showing it, uh, finding one that works out perfectly. So, so I know that obviously my background I created in Photoshop, but you can do this yourself. If you happen to buy the um, smitten word and phrase sheet, you can just print it out and then cut the little heart and cut the word love and cut another little piece of blue paper. And you can use letter stickers to create the love you part. So this can still be replicated by just printing out the sheet and then cutting it apart and then reassembling it on top of a piece of cardstock like I did. So don't feel that even though I, you know, created my card using Photoshop, you can still recreate something like this for yourself using the digital kit. It just takes a little imagination and I know everybody out there that's watching this it's creative because we all have that same passion um, for creating using Corey's beautiful products. So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how you can use some of these beautiful digital goodies that, that Corey has in her shop. So I hope you have the time to get your crafty wiggles out as always. Until next time. Bye.